Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatic MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see the new features provided in provisioning tool for MDM 10.3. So let's start today's tutorial. We know that the provisioning tool is used to configure customer 360 or entity 360 application. So what are the new changes Informatica has introduced for provisioning tool? I would say there are really nice uh, features are introduced with the 10.3. In my previous experience there are several times the customer asked like how can we attach the document for task uh, task workflow or how can we maintain binary large object data that is documents images etc in the MDM now we have the solution or the the approach provided by Informatica MDM so that is one of the feature but there are some other very interesting feature provided with the 10.3 so let's discuss one by one there is a provision to select the layout for task yes so this is a, a interesting feature so if you go to the configuration section and uh, select the layout designer and here you will see the various options such as a record view and review task this is one of the layout merge task layout and unmerge task layout so far these are the layouts are available but of course in future informatica might provide some other interesting provide uh, other interesting layouts so but these are the enough for uh, the usage perspective what are the current entity 360 or customer 360 application getting used i think this is well more than enough there are some other layouts but which are mostly related to the uh, data viewing perspective so in the layout type of uh, this section we can see the layout type layout name which we can provide the layout id we have to provide as a unique id then uh, description the la uh, layout name you will ha have the label here list option icon if you are have a, if you are looking for the specific icon for your layout and the list order so these are the things present in the layout designer the next thing about the provisioning tool is attachment which we uh, discussed just out of this session and I, I like this feature particularly the reason is it's very important feature important thing to have the document attachment for given task for example if you have the suppliers uh, if you're going to be on board suppliers or uh, the material having the document associated with it's kind of mandatory so because sometimes it's become a legal obligation to bring those uh, documents and then and then uh, uh, once approval is done then create that uh, create that vendor uh, before introduction of this attachment uh, uh, functionality this approval process has to happen the, the document or the legal document and other etc approval was happening outside this uh, uh, entity 360 or customer 360 but now onwards it we can introduce that feature with this uh, enhance or the, uh, the the good feature of the provisioning tool okay now how to configure attachment to the task it's very simple so select the task from the left side you can see so which is the trigger we have to select trigger uh, there are multiple options will be available based on your configuration such as match trigger merge task trigger default uh, approval process two step unmerge task update approval so so you can select whatever the workflow you are going to uh, configure in order to provide attachment once you configure the work workflow select that and um, on the right hand side once you select our workflow on the right hand side you'll see the several options such as name of your workflow task type uh, kind of task process and you'll see the two things below that so one is called attachment section and the other is called as the document uh, comment section so these are the two sections are provided 
with the provisioning tool in 10.3. We'll see in detail about this attachment and comment section what it contains. So right now in the screen you can see the attachment required prompt user and the comment is also required prompt user. So let's deep dive in those options. So let's consider first the attachment option. There are three options available. The very first option is optional prompt users, required prompt users and disable do not prompt users. For a given task, we might uh, need the document or we, we, we may not. So if you are not sure whether it's required or not, then just select the optional and it will just prompt user. User might provide document or may not. But if you select required prompt user, user has to provide document while submitting the task. We can disable this document option so that if in given particular work like the document is not required. We don't have to uh, allow, uh, ask user to provide this uh, document so that unless like such step we can get rid of by disabling option. Now the next thing is the comment which we saw in earlier screen. So what this comment contains? So when we attach any document, it is sometimes required to provide comment. What kind of document it is? What is the purpose of it? So that's the reason there are three options available for comments. Optional do not prompt user, required prompt user, optional prompt user. The very first option is do not prompt user is helpful if we do not need any comment from the user. But in real time or real practice, we normally provide the comment because it gives the more additional information for approval. So providing the optional prompt user is the best option in most of the cases but if there is necessity of comment then choose the option required prompt user. These are the options available. Do not prompt user, prompt user required and prompt users optional. Now, once we configure tasks, how this attachment is shown in the Customer 360 application. So, assume that you have configured the workflow for a create customer or create person uh, trigger level. So, once you try to create a customer, for example, in the screen we have just shown some fields like first name, birth date, activity status score, and tax ID. Once you provide all this field, and on the top of the screen you will see the save button if you if you click that save button it will take us to our next dialog box and the dialog box will look like this so behind the screen you already have the main screen and this is the dialog box it will pop up on your screen where we have to provide the task command and the attachment so the very first section you can see the file attachment you we have the browser browse button you have to just click that browse button and it will navigate to our, our disk location pick that document which is required to upload it and once it is successfully click ok you will see that document name who created that document and the date of uploaded at the bottom side we have to provide the comment one thing here no, to notice on the left hand side of file attachment and the left hand side of comment you see the red bar so that means the file attachment and add comments are mandatory or are required in this type of workflow if it is optional then you will not see those kind of things now the next feature about the look and feel provisioning tool is uh, updated uh, to provide better look and feel, feel for the task manager. Earlier in only home page you will see the task as the default but now they have provided the task manager which we can see on the left hand side and it also provides the various information about given tasks like who reviewed, who updated and this is configurable. So that's the important thing. So, so it's very convenient. It's like kind of uh, if you know the Twitter feed how it works on the same line. It's uh, this kind of features is getting incorporated here. I, I like particularly this feature because it gives more idea about the, what is going on this particular task, and it will be more beneficial for the data steward. 
then how this task is configured so it's very simple so if you go to the configuration section you have to select the database setting select the task manager so once you select the task manager um, on the right hand side you will see the what are the display field fields you want to show in the task manager so select those field names task title type priority etc and those information will be shown you can see the advanced up there it is like the xml format you can edit it if you are like programmer kind of if you have the programmer knowledge it will be more easy but if you are um, not if you are not done extensive programming i would recommend to stick with the basic view it's also very simple to use now configure the closed task so on the home page you'll see the task so there are some couple of new uh, tabs are uh, introduced with this 10.3 how to configure those tabs for example if you want to configure the close task tab so it's very simple go to the task inbox in the component section select the all tasks box all tasks inbox and then select the display fields and also select the filters so if, if you need the multiple filters you can select multiple filters or if you want uh, specific fields you can select the display specific field again this advanced section is also in the it will show in the xml format what are the settings you have here data filters it's another interesting feature uh, informatica introduced to achieve the better security on the data level so for that we have to go to the modeling section select the business entity and here under the given entity for example we have selected person as entity go to the person entity select the particular field and here in this we have selected gold as a filter which will filter out the gold data and this kind of feature available not only for the business entity it is also available for the reference entity so here you can see the the value what value you are going to filter for the given attribute attribute is customer type tier code you can see and the value we are saying if as long as this value is gold this uh, data will be shown to this given role this is the role and for the remaining roles the all other values will be shown other than gold so this is also interesting feature they introduced and these are very nice features and uh, updates they have made in the provisioning tool i hope this is going to helpful for configuring your application in your project if you have any questions or queries, definitely mention in the comment section of this video. Do not forget to check out my blog also. We are sharing more interesting information on blog also. Thank you. Have a nice time.